Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the University College London Centre for Radiopharmaceutical Chemistry, a specialist centre for the development and clinical translation of novel biomedical imaging agents. My name is Kerstin Sander, and I am delighted about this opportunity to present our Tau Pet Tracer head-to-head -head comparison to you. The work has been a fantastic collaborative effort between the Centre for Radiopharmaceutical Chemistry, the Queen Square Brain Bank and the Dementia Research Centre. And you will meet all co-authors in this short video. Dementia is perhaps the most pressing public health challenge of our age. There are already 50 million people affected globally and that number is set to triple by 2050. Dementia is caused by a range of different underlying diseases and differential diagnosis is difficult and important both clinically and crucial for research. The development of amyloid and later tau PET tracers is probably the most exciting uh, event in PET of the last 10-20 years. However, <clears throat> the large number of compounds that have been reported also represent a challenge for clinical research and clinical practice in, a, in that it's difficult to know which tracer to use for which application. And for this reason, it is very important to properly characterize these new tau pet traces so that they can guide future clinical studies. Nuclear tissue imaging allows us to bridge the translational gap between pet imaging and neuropathological assessment post-mortem, the latter of which currently defines the diagnosis of a brain disease causing dementia. Now, tissue imaging allows us to bring these two a little closer together and to assess a radio tracer's binding profile at high resolution. In this study, we characterized the binding profile of four next-generation tau pet tracers. Our aim was to address some of the following research questions. Firstly, do the new tau pet tracers differ in their binding profile? Secondly, are they suited to differentiate Alzheimer's disease from other dimensions, in particular those with tau as underlying pathology? Thirdly, have some limitations associated with previously developed tau pet traces been overcome, for instance, of target binding towards monoamine oxidase B? We use post-mortem brain tissue to carry out the tracer head-to-head -head comparisons. The tissue samples were derived from a large collection of archival brains at the Queen Square Brain Bank for Neurological Disorders. Brains are donated by individuals with neurodegenerative diseases and neurologically normal controls, all of which undergo neuropathological assessment, making the collection an invaluable resource for research. We included cases from a broad variety of dementias including Alzheimer's disease, primary tauopathies, non-tau proteinopathies, and age match controls. The sensitivity of traces to depict tau across this disease spectrum was assessed using cortical brain areas, in particular the frontal and medial temporal lobes. Potential off-target binding was assessed in the basal ganglia. Quantitative phosphorimaging was used to characterize and compare the binding profiles of all four tau traces. We found all four radio traces to bind with high specificity to the cortical brain matter of cases with Alzheimer's disease. The relative spread in between cases was similar for all four radio traces and is most likely a reflection of inter-individual differences in tau burden. Our results support the notion that all four radio traces are suited to diagnose Alzheimer's disease in life. Ultimately, the similarity between the traces' binding characteristics may have implications for future multicenter studies, as data from cohorts examined using different tau traces may be compared if remaining pet methodological issues are solved. Radiotracer tracer binding to cases with primary telepathies as well as non tau proteinopathies was low. Occasionally, observed increased cortical tracer binding was associated with concomitant Alzheimer's disease pathology. This finding supports the notion that cortical tracer uptake patterns are unsuited for the differential diagnosis of the frontotemporal dementias. 
Yet, of target binding in the striatum, a limitation often associated with early tau ligands, was not observed with any of the new generation tracers. This provides an opportunity to assess the specificity of basal ganglia binding for the diagnosis of primary tauopathies. In conclusion, we were able to demonstrate that all four tau pet tracers investigated discriminate Alzheimer's disease with high robustness. On behalf of all co-authors, I would like to thank our industrial partners for trusting us with their compounds and our funders for supporting us. Thank you.